This is the QScript software. We have on the left hand side our stories broken out into the elements of our show. Uh, it tells us on the left hand side also like how long this will take roughly uh, to read through. It also tells us uh, whether we're connected to the inception system which is our newsroom control system and it will open any scripts that we are monitoring. In the main page um, this is where we can uh, look and read along to the text on the bottom of our main page just click on the little arrow and then we can begin a prompting session. When we're using the software standalone without using Inception we can change the um, we can change the bits of the text um, however when we're using Inception it's important not to try and change the text from in here but update the um, Inception running order and the script and stories within those. So we're just going to go straight to prompt now. So if I click on prompt now, this is going to send it through to my front of my cameras. And um, I've also got a prompt window or prompt preview come up. So in here, we can just maximize the screen and then we can start using our hand wheel. So our hand wheel controls on the bottom is the hand wheel itself that, that moves it down through the script. What we're looking to do is try, and, is try and keep the little prompt bubble on the line that they're looking to read. So with my hand wheel, it turns right to move down, it turns left to move up. If I want to go to my next story, there's a little button that says next story. If I want to go to the previous story, I can just click back and go through the previous story. If I need to blank the screen out, so if it's, some, if it's not someone's turn to read, we can just blank the screen. If we've gone through a lot of the scripts and we need to go back to the top of the run order, click the uh, top of run order button and that'll go to the very top. We also have the ability to go to markers. Um, we have no markers set in this script, so it won't go to any of those. We also have um, two different commands Command one will start and stop the prompting. 